feels like this, man. I feel like all I do is work. Work for what? To barely have a roof over my head, behind on payments half the damn time. It's just, it's just life. If we lived in Alaska or northern, I don't know if Michigan would be the same. I would think it would be. Or I watched this one guy called Kyle's Cabin, northern Minnesota. He lives, a, he is smart. He's a young man starting off. He got rid of all this bullshit, meaning that he has no mortgage, no nothing. Yes, he makes money off of YouTube and him and his fiance. But they're smart. They have no bills. They don't owe nobody. Like if he wants to sit down for a day or go away for a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? He can. Like I guess his best friend just got married and he traveled with his fiance. They traveled to go to this guy's wedding or whatever. If you live off grid, obviously you still have to have some money coming in. That's the thing. That's where it gets a lot of people is where could you live real far away from civilization in the city and who could who could be driving two and three hours each way every day? So you'd have to have to have money, make money, and then save it and build a place and be able to have money coming in without without leaving your where you live. Like if I had Social Security coming in, that would be something that would be doable. If you saved up for a cabin, he made a cabin for under ten thousand dollars, and he made it when the wood was real high, when we in the middle of the pandemic, where one sheet of plywood used to be like 10 bucks and it was going for 40 and 50 60 dollars a sheet of plywood so if you could do that meaning me or anybody see my husband wouldn't leave his stupid car shit i'd go in a minute to get rid of all these bullshit on my back constantly you know what i don't even care bills can be late everybody else's bills are late eff it because everybody else is struggling. I mean, to put food on the table, to pay this, pay that. It's just crazy. And I worked three overtime yet last week. They wanted me to work tomorrow, but I go, I absolutely have no food in my house. We would have to eat soup or cereal. I go, I gotta get some food tomorrow. I have no food. I mean, I got a couple TV dinners left, but nothing great. It just shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard. And I wouldn't want to kill no no moose or, or deer or animals like that. Ugh. And you can eat a grouse. Grouse are like chicken. But I wouldn't want to, I could never kill nothing. I could never kill nothing. I could never take something's life, even if it was to eat it and not, you know, do no sin, you know what I'm saying? And do it in God's way. I just, I could do all the vegetables now. I'd have no problem growing vegetables and eating them and frying them up in butter and eating them like sweet potatoes and stuff like that. I'm not a big meat eater anyways. I like chicken or shrimp. I don't like red meat much at all. I don't know what the fascination is with. I'm not big on it. But uh, how many of you out there, if you could, and you had a little bit of money coming in, or you could work to save up, build a cabin for $10,000, dollars 20000 and they have a little money coming in, but you'd have to chop all your own wood, save enough money to get a will, a well put on your property. Then you'd have all the water you needed all the time. But a lot of people start off with not having no wells. They have dry cabins, meaning where they, they haul the water in. And you can make that work. That's very doable. I've seen it. It's very doable. You get a Coleman jug and this Kyle guy used to let it go from a ladder and that's the way he could take his showers 
He goes, it was really doable. So who out there would ever think about, would love to go live off the land, buy a small piece of land somewhere, a couple acres, and do your thing and grow vegetables and things as much as you can eat and be self-sufficient as much as you can and not have to punch the clock every day no more. At first it's going to be hard. You're going to have to chop wood all the time and do things, but then eventually as time goes on where you get caught up with things, it becomes way easier. So who has thought of that? I'm just curious. Any of you out there thought of living off grid and I, Kyle's cabin is a real good one that I recommend on YouTube watching he's actually done it he's doing he's built two or three cabins now it's gonna give the specs on it how to do it exactly I couldn't build a cabin but I could bring a trailer on my own piece of land and live out of a trailer you don't have to build a cabin you don't have to be mechanically inclined. You have to know how to chop wood, but that's not a big deal. So yeah, so who's thought about it? Let me know. I'm curious, YouTube out there. Let me know what you think your feelings and thoughts are because I'm just sick of work. This is how I feel, working every day to get nowhere. That's how I feel. That's how the government's got you. They got their thumb on you. So you get nowhere, can accomplish nothing. It's ridiculous. There's got to be a better way. And I'm older, but I'm just sick of the bullshit. I'm tired of it. Alright, like and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts and ideas. God bless you all.